to get in on that. that uh, I mean, I, I was happy about it. Uh, I actually couldn't tell. I knew I got a, a pretty good lick on him, but I couldn't tell if he was in or not. So I just, you know, I was just playing ball and just let the results come out as they may, honestly. Bill Huber, go ahead. Hey, Devondre, the last, in your six-game winning streak, you guys have allowed 18 points per game. Um, what's what's gone right? Where, where, have you, where have you seen the progress made for you guys? Uh, like I said, we're just getting more comfortable with each other. You know, like, uh, that's that's huge when you out there on defense. You know, like, defense isn't like offense. We are we always reacting. So us being on the same page and being able to communicate and figure things out, that's definitely been a huge part of us taking a step forward. And, you know, we're missing a lot of key players. So as we continue to get people back, we just – we're going to keep striving for excellence and continue to try to get better and better every week. Wes Hadkowitz. Just how big was the, the beginning of the third quarter there, you know, for Rashawn to be able to get that takeaway and it's, you know, the offense kind of doubles up there with the, the Tunyon touchdown. What did you think of how that kind of shifted the momentum, you know, as you guys entered in the second half? Well, momentum is everything in football and uh, at halftime coming out, I was telling the guys, I'm like, there's, we ain't got no contract with them. Ain't nobody say we have to be out here for X amount of plays. Like we can make this a one play drive. And, you know, Rashawn took that to heart and took it upon himself to make a play. You know, he, he's a heck of a player, plays with great energy. And, you know, I told him, I was like, just keep rushing and it, it'll, it'll come to you. And that's what happened. You know, he's a heck of a player, plays with his heart on his sleeve. Go ahead, Bill. Hey, Devontra, you, um, I think we all know what's coming up schedule wise, and I'm sure you guys all know it too. Um, how'd you guys keep your focus on this game and not peek ahead to Thursday? Uh, I mean, it's, we, we all pros and we understand you can't get too far ahead of yourself. You know, this is a pro football team we played today and you have to approach them as such because if you don't, bad things happen. And we, we just understood we have to live in the moment, take it day by day and handle business. And I think we did a really good job of handling business uh, we're going to enjoy this moment tonight, and tomorrow we're going to move on and, and get ready to, for our next opponent. Go ahead, Wes. Devondre, how's it been? You know, obviously you've had Chris, you've had Oren, now some of the nickel looks, you're working with Jalen too. How has that been sort of managing that, and, and how do you feel that whole group, you know, even with some moving parts at inside linebackers sort of, you know, come through here through the first seven games? Uh, everybody in our room is a is a pro's pro. They're all really good football players. Everybody is versi has a versatile skill set. So we all can play each position. So there's really no certain guy that can be in at any time. We just kind of treat it as, as situations, you know, what, it, what each guy's strengths and weaknesses are. And we just kind of go from there. But everybody in our room can play and we trust everybody. So there's never a situation where we go in like, oh, we're not, we don't want this guy in. We trust everybody in the room and everybody has live game reps. So we know that, that they can play. Go ahead, Bill. Yeah. How do you recover from this physically? I'm sure you've done the Thursday game before. Um, you guys are on the field for 70 plays today. I assume you're on the field for all of them. Mm -hmm. That's obviously it's a quite a workload in, in a short turnaround. Yeah. Coach, uh, we actually have a mandatory recovery session going on right now. So everybody has to, to get something in before they leave the building. And I think uh, Coach Matt does a really good job of taking care of us. And I'm pretty sure they, they're going to have a really good plan for us this week to make sure we get all the, the looks we need and get, get, the, get everything in place for us mentally and physically to make sure we can perform at a high level come Thursday. Go ahead, Wes. Dre, what's the challenge of playing a quarterback like Heineke, you know, with, you know, he, he's able to stand tall in the pocket, but he has a scrambling ability there too. And just what do you think of the job you guys did against him, you know, generally throughout the course of it? I mean, as you see, you know, the, 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 um, the struggle of playing against a scrambling quarterback is you can do everything right on the back end coverage wise. And, you know, he can still find a way to squeak through. And we saw that on film, like, whether people want to say it or not, he's very slippery. Like he's made some, a lot of people miss this year in the pocket. And I told him that after the game, I was like, you're a really good player in terms of like your pocket awareness and being able to, to make guys miss. Like he's really good at it. He has just this innate ability to kind of feel where guys are coming from and make them miss. So he did a really good job of keeping us on, on our edge, but 
we ended up uh, coming up with a nice little game plan to kind of contain them. Bill, go ahead. Yeah, I was going to ask you, and I realize that Kyler is his own person with a unique skill set, but does, does any of this help you out? Um, Heineke he's a scrambler. Obviously, Justin last week has some running abilities. Does that help at all, or is Kyler just so unique that maybe it doesn't really translate too much? Um, it helps a little bit, but as you said, uh, K1, is he's, he's a different animal. His, his scrambling ability is just a little bit different than the guys we played over the past two weeks. Um, you know, I got to practice against him every day last year for a year straight. So I understand what type of player he is and I understand what we're going up against. Um, we just have to come up with a really good plan to, to contain him. You know, with a player like that, you can't stop him. You just have to try to contain him. All right, we'll just do one more. Wes Hadkowitz. Devondre, you had a really good quote a couple of weeks ago, I think, to Larry McCarron about how this defense has kind of allowed you to be, you know, Batman after years of sort of being Robin in that that linebacker role. Did you feel that that was possible when you picked up the the playbook in the summer? Was that something that, as you know, training camp win and you got into the regular season, you really saw how this this defense could reflect your talent? Um, I just I saw it back in uh, the the mandatory mini camp when I got the playbook. I was just like, this is a lot different than what I'm used to, like my, my role is a lot different. Like I'm actually having the opportunity to be the man. And that's something that I always knew I could do, but, you know, I just always played within the scheme that I was in, you know, I've always been a good player, but I'm actually having the opportunity to showcase it. And like I said, I appreciate everybody on the Packers for believing in me and, and giving me this chance to, to showcase what I can do. 